All right, here we are again, guys. All right, so second day of week one. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, again, mom and dad, just a reminder, please have some water um, nearby for your child so that they can grab that water um, just to be safe. You know, it's getting hot nowadays, so we want to make sure that they stay hydrated, okay? Um, let's go ahead and get started, kids. All right, let's start with our hands behind our back. And chip. Sagun ke kie. Say, Anya Hashmika. Good. And let's put our hands on our heart and we're going to recite the student creed. Ready? I tend to vote myself in a positive manner. To what anything that reduces my mental growth or physical health. I intend to vote self discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and others. I tend to use while in class, constructively and defensively, to help myself fellow men, and to never be abusive or offensive. This is way chip. So I'm okay, Kenya. All right, good job, kids. All right, so um, let's see. I had a quick announcement for mom and dad. Uh, I'll go ahead and make this announcement at the end when it comes back to my mind. Okay. All right, kids, so um, let's go ahead and get started with our warm-ups, okay? Um, remember, this is week one, so we want to make sure that we kind of get some uh, cardio going, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to actually bounce, start, start off bouncing, but we're bouncing in our guardian stance, okay? So take your right leg and step back and bounce with your hands up like you're fighting, like you're sparring, okay? All right. So this is intermediate advanced and black belt, so I want you guys to bounce like you're in your sparring stance, okay? So guess what? If you're practicing your cardio bouncing, that's actually, of course, you're going to get tired when you're bouncing, but the more that you practice it, the more you can bounce without getting tired, okay? The longer you do it, okay? And of course, when you're fighting, you want to always be bouncing, right? Or most of the times you want to be bouncing. Hands up while you're bouncing. All right, when I switch, make sure you make a tight switch, right? Ready? And switch. To be bouncing your fighting stance. And switch. And switch. Switch. Stay with me, guys. Stay with me. Ready? And switch. You know, when you're bouncing, you want to be on your toes, okay? And switch. Switch. Switch, and relax. All right, shake out your legs a little bit. Shake it out, shake it out. Good. All right, okay. So now what we're gonna do is, let me turn on the light that just went out. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is, um, you guys could do this too. Um, if you have enough room going forward and backwards, that's fine, stay facing forward. But for some of you guys, you might have more space if you're going side to side, all right? So what we're doing is we're gonna go ahead and slide forward. So if, you're, if you have enough room, you're gonna go ahead and slide forward straight to the screen. If you need more room, you can do it sideways, okay? So I'm gonna do it sideways because I have more room going this way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be in our garden stance, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna slide forward. Ready, and forward. And forward, forward, good, all right, now I'm gonna keep facing that same direction, okay? Keep facing that way, and where I'm pointing, keep facing that way, and I'm gonna slide back now. Okay, ready? And back, 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 good, all right, again, ready? And forward, remember you're sure bouncing, okay? Forward, forward. And keep facing forward, you're gonna slide back, you back. Bouncing, bouncing, back, bouncing, back. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna switch stances. Switch to the other side now. All right, so you should have your other leg in front, okay? Same thing, ready? Slide forward, ready? And forward, 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 good. And now we're gonna slide 
backwards carry and back down sink back down sink keep your hands up back down sink good one more time ready forward down forward down one more time forward down and back 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 good and switch all right shake up your legs guys shake it out a little bit all right, now let's go ahead and slide forward, step forward. Okay, so we're here, slide forward. Back leg is gonna step to the front, boom. Okay, bouncing again, slide forward, step forward. Okay, ready? Bouncing, and slide forward, step. Slide forward, step. Now we're gonna do the opposite. Slide back and step, ready? Slide back, step. Slide back, step. All right, now let's smooth it out a little bit, okay? Now we're gonna combine it and make it more connected. So it's gonna look like this. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. All right, so slide, step, reset. Slide, step, reset, okay? Same thing when we go backwards. Ready? Go. Reset. Go. Reset, now going backwards. Go, set, go, set. Good, one more time, ready? Forward and back, ready, go. Going back. Good, and relax. So I notice when I say reset, I'm still bouncing, okay? So I slip forward, step, I don't just stand there, I'm still bouncing, all right? So make sure you do that when you're warming up. We want to have that constant motion going. All right, good job, guys. Let's go ahead and go to our 15 jumping jacks. Okay, ready? 15 jumping jacks and go. Good. All right, okay, so what you guys are gonna do at home is you're gonna do your usual push-ups, okay? What you guys always do. So it doesn't go in your push-up position and you're gonna do 10 push-ups, okay? Um, I'm gonna do, I'll be doing something different. It's similar, but it's a little bit different just to um, adjust what I'm doing, okay? Um, I have to adjust the way I work out um, just for physical, um, Adjustments, okay, so you guys again do your normal push-ups, okay ready You guys are gonna set push-up position and 15 go So remember you guys are doing regular push-ups at home, okay, I'm doing something different All right, when you're done, you guys go ahead and sit up. And we'll give a couple more seconds for everyone to finish up their sit, or their push-ups. Okay, so again, you guys are gonna do what you usually do, okay? At home, you kids are gonna be doing your crunches, okay? So you're gonna lie down, you're gonna have your hands behind your head, and you're gonna be having your feet off the ground, touching your elbows to your knees, you're gonna do it 20 times, okay? Ready? And I'm gonna do something different, okay? To work my core. You guys stick with your crunches. Ready? And go. 20.
Only don't go and stand up. All right, everyone should be done with their crunches. All right, we're going to do 20 jumping jacks now, okay, ready? 20, ready, and go. Good. All right, when you're done with your 20 jumping jacks, go onto the floor, prepare for your push-ups, your regular push-ups, okay? So remember, when you guys do your push-ups, remember to keep your back straight, okay? Don't hunch over and don't get down, okay? You want to have your body straight, and when you push down, you want to go down where... You're low enough, but your body doesn't touch the floor, okay? And you push up, okay? Push a position. Again, I'm doing something else, but you guys are gonna do what you normally do. Ready? And 15, go. Good. All right, when you're done, go ahead and flip over to your back. And you guys are going to do your crunches, okay? Again, legs bent, feet off the ground, hands behind your head, touching your elbows to your knees. Okay, ready? And let's do 15 this time. Ready? And go. Time, go ahead and stand up. All right, stand up straight. Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up our legs a little bit, guys. Okay. So not to full splits, but you want to open them pretty wide. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and reach down to the front, to the middle. Ready? And down. Hana. Two. Set, set, dose, dose, yoga, do, a hope, yo. Good, stand up straight, keep your legs apart, and now we're gonna keep our back straight and we're gonna lean, touch our ankle to one side. Ready, and down. Ah, uh, do, set, set, dose, dose, yoga, do, a hope, yo. Good, and stand up back straight. Now you're gonna keep your back straight and sit or reach over to the other ankle now. Ready? And reach. Hana, two, sit, net, dasi, yasu, yoga, ero, aho, yo. Good. All right, you guys go ahead and have a seat on the floor with your legs straight. Okay, and shake up your legs. Okay, toes facing up. And reach and try to touch your toes. Hana, two, set, set, dase, yase, yoga, yo, aho, yo. Good, and let's turn our back side to side. First. And reach to your toes one more time and down. Hana, two, set, net, dasi, dasi, yoga, iru, aho, yo. Good. All right, keep one leg straight, then the other one for hurdle stretch. Okay. 
And reach over to the straight leg, touch your toes. Come on. Do it. Sit. Lift. That's it. That's it. Good luck. You know, I hope you'll. And head to your bent knee or chin to your bent knee. Down. Come on. Do it. Sit. Lift. That's it. That's it. Build up. It will. I hope you'll. Good. And switch legs. Reach over to the other uh, leg. That's straight. Touch the toes and down. Come on. Do it. Sit. Lift. That's it. That's it. It'll go. It'll. I hope you'll. Good. All right. Now it's the bent knee. Ready? Down. Come on. Do it. Sit. Lift. That's it. That's it. Build up. It will. I hope you will. And let's bring our legs in for a butterfly stretch. Go trees up and down. Okay. All right. And push those knees down to the ground and reach down to the front. Hana. Do. Sit. That's it. That's it. Build up. It will. I hope you will. Good. All right. Stand up, kids. All right, let's go fix our uniform or if you're wearing a t-shirt and pants, that's fine. Fix that t-shirt and run and get your quick water break. Go. Okay. Oh, and uh, mom and dad, I remember what I wanted to say in the beginning of class. Um, those of you who have me on Facebook, um, please uh, open the Facebook page on or Messenger on your phone or open a tab on Facebook. And uh, just in case this live feed gets interrupted um, and disconnects. For example, if you see the loading circle turning, but you don't hear me uh, talking or you don't see me moving, uh, please shoot me a message on Facebook. Um, those of you who have my text or my number, go ahead and send me a text to you to do that. Uh, just to let me know <laughs> what's happening on the other end, okay? Um, but last, on Monday, everything was smooth, so hopefully that'll happen again today, okay? Um, just in case we do get disconnected and connection gets disrupted, um, what I'll do is I'll end the stream and then I'll start another live show. So um, if you see that happen, go ahead and just close this one, reopen it, and then look for the new live show that I'll be starting to continue. Okay? Thank you, guys. All right, let's see who's here. Okay. Morel, how's it going, Morel? Milana, good job. All right, and let's see, Kyle. Akira's here. Um, Gurleen Gurditsrat, good job. The whole family's here. Harp, all right, good job, guys. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add to the footwork that we worked on for our warm ups, okay? So we had a sliding forward. We had the sliding backwards, we do the um, slide forward step. So let's add to it now, okay? Let's do what we would do in sparring, okay? Because you guys are intermediate advanced and black belts. So when we're sparring, though, obviously we have to kick, all right? We can't just spend the whole fight just doing footwork, right? We can't fight the whole time doing this, right? <laughs> we're gonna have to kick once in a while, okay? So let's combine our kicks with our footwork, okay? So let's say someone's far away. They are not within fighting distance. Remember, fighting distance is if I reach out, if I do a back of the kick, I can touch their body. That's fighting distance, okay? But if they're far away, that means when I do my back of the rounds kick, I can't reach them. So what would I have to do to reach them? I have to slide forward, okay? So remember the forward that we did in the beginning of class where we slid forward? Step, excuse me, step forward. Instead of stepping forward, I'm going to do the same thing, but it's just going to go... Instead of a step, it's going to come to a kick. One, two, and then in front. Okay, so let's work on that, okay? So what I'm going to do is, this is how it's going to look. I'm starting from the side again. If you don't have enough room going this way, you guys can go this way, okay? Um, so we're here. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and start with your left leg in front. Left leg in front, okay? So I'm going to dead. Please help them out, make sure that they have enough leg in front. So I'm gonna slide forward, and I'm gonna kick with my back leg, my right leg. Ready? It's gonna look like this, go. Slide, kick. You're kicking my leg in front. All right, so now you should have your left leg in back. 
Okay, now I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna slide forward. Now back leg, left leg, then I was kick. All right, now I'm gonna do it again, going back to my starting point. Boom, 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 boom. All right, ready? So reset after your roundhouse kick. I want you guys to stop right there, but keep your guarding stance. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. Boom, set. Okay. Ready? Starting point, left leg in front. That means I'm kicking with my right leg. Ready? Slide, kick, set. Bouncing, and slide, backward kick, Boom. set. Bouncing. Face the other way, let's do it again, ready? Two times going that way, ready? And go. Go. Good. All right. One more time going back and forth, okay? Ready? And go. Ooh, my fault. I did a fast kick. I want to slide forward. So slide forward. Go. Kick. Going back. Good. Good job, guys. All right, now we're gonna do what I just did, okay? We're gonna do a fast kick to back the ground kick, okay? So I'm here. Instead of just sliding forward, I'm gonna go ahead and fast kick. Back the ground kick. Okay, ready? So same thing. We're just doing a fast kick now instead of sliding forward. Ready? You guys can see me, there we go. Ready, fast kick, back the ground kick. Ready, snap, so you set. Go, fast kick, back and fast kick, set. Face the other way, let's do it again, going backward, we're going the other way. Ready, go. Good, one more time going back and forth, okay? You can do it on your own speed. But remember, the first one, reset. Fast kick, ground kick, guarding stance, bouncing, reset. Do it again, fast kick, ground kick, come back. Ready, go. Good and relax. All right, good job, guys. So we have the sliding forward, two rounds kick, and then we're doing the same thing, but instead of sliding forward, we're just adding a kick to it. Fast kick, two rounds kick. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go work with our counter. So when we're countering, we're gonna go, one way to counter is going backwards and then countering with a kick, coming back with a kick. Okay, so I'm gonna slide back, back with ground kick. Okay, so again, if you're facing forward, you could do that. If you're going sideways, like I am, that works also, okay? Depending on how much room you guys have. So now, I'm starting here, I'm looking this way, but I'm moving towards my back. Okay, so remember, my opponent is right here, I'm facing my opponent. Okay, so don't look this way. What happens if you look that way and your opponent's right here? You're not gonna see if they're gonna hit you, okay? So you wanna look forward, okay? So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide back, back to the ground skate. Boom. Land in front. Now I'm on my other side. I'm gonna go and do it again, but now on the other side, slide back, back to ground skate, okay? Now I'm gonna do it as many times as I can, going from wherever my starting point was, to my ending point, okay? So for me, from one side of the garage to the other side of the garage, I could probably fit maybe three or four, okay? So it's gonna be a different count for everyone since everyone has a different um, length at home. Okay, ready? And go. Slide back, back to ground skip. Slide back, back to ground skip. Bouncing, guarding snatch three. Slide back, back to ground skip. Bouncing, slide back. Back to ground skip. Good, okay. So now, I wanna look the other way. Look the other way now, okay, ready? So we're gonna go back, go facing the other way. Ready? Slide back, back to ground skip. 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 Good, all right. Now you can do it one more time, back and forth, but on your own speed, okay, ready? Remember, what do we do after a bounce kick? We reset, get back to your garden stance, bouncing. Okay, don't just rush through it, don't go boom, 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 boom. Reset, 
Ready? And go. Okay. Bring back. Good. All right, shake out your legs, guys. Shake out your legs. All right, last drill with our footwork, okay? So, don't forget, it's more comfortable everyone kicking with their back leg, all right, from the counter. But don't forget, you can also kick with your front leg after your footwork, okay? So, just like that, from the ground kick. So, I'm gonna face the same, my body will be facing the same direction the whole time. So, here, slide back, ground kick, reset. Slide back, ground kick, reset. All right, and then turn again, body facing the same direction. Go the other way. Other leg should be kicking. All right, ready? So think of this way if you're going side to side, like I am, your body's gonna be facing the front the whole time. It's gonna be facing the screen. Okay, ready? And go. Okay. Again, keep your body facing the screen. Turn the other way. Now we're kicking with my other leg when I slide back. Good. All right. Remember, again, you could do front leg or back leg using these counters. Okay? All right. Now we're going to switch it up a little bit. Here we do. Here, here what we're going to do. <laughs> is we're gonna step back, okay, front leg kick. Oh. All right, so my starting position, right? My starting position, I have my right leg in the back right now. So when I step back, my right leg becomes the front leg and kick with the right leg, all right? So step back, front leg kick, okay? Face this way, ready? And step back, front leg kick. Then in front, front leg's gonna step back. I should be in position to kick with my front leg, the other leg. Boom. Okay, face the other way. Ready, same thing, step back. You set. Step back. Okay. All right, one more time, going that way and back. Step back, kick with the front leg. Ready, and then reset, go. Facing the other way, going back. And I put that one more. Good, and relax. All right, guys. So, different variations, okay? The point of this is just to mix it up a little bit, but also give you guys an idea that when you slide back, you could kick with the front leg or back leg. So, okay, so when you slide back, Front leg or back leg. Same thing when you step back. Step back, front leg or back leg. Okay, so you wanna know these variations so that you can mix it up when you spar. Okay, so if I'm fighting someone who's pretty good, okay, you know, they don't even have to really be that good in technique, but if they're smart and I do the same thing over and over again, they'll see it. Okay, so if I like to slide back, and kick my front leg all the time. If I have a smart fighter that I'm going against, they're gonna see it. So what do you think they're gonna do? They're gonna do something to counter that because they know I always do that. But if I mix it up, if I slide back, front leg. Next time I slide back, I use my back leg or I step back. Now they have to worry about not just one technique, they have to worry about two, three, or four different techniques now, okay? So me, being the me, if I'm fighting, I want to have that control. I want to have that odds, okay? I want to have enough techniques. I'm not talking about like 10 or 20, but I want to have at least three or four really good techniques that I'm good at that I can easily switch in between naturally to keep my opponent guessing, okay? So if I have my opponent guessing, I like those odds, okay? So it's a, 
When you guys spar, don't think of it just trying to kick the person and trying not to get kicked. Of course you want to do that. Of course you want to kick the other person and not get hit. But at the same time, you want to treat it like a game of tag, okay? A serious game of tag, okay? And in order to tag someone, I have to be able to outsmart them a little bit. And same thing if I'm going defensive, I don't want to get hit. So when you guys are playing at tag, say your friend is it and they see you and now they're trying to tag you. You see them coming, what do you try to do? You just always run to your right side. If you always run to your right side, guess what? They're gonna run that way and tag you. Usually, especially the little fellas, what do they do? They do this little thing, right? They do a little shake move, trying to take them out. I'm going left or am I going right? Same thing in sparring, okay? So if I mix up my moves, my partner or my the partner I'm sparring, he doesn't know what I'm gonna do, or she doesn't know what I'm gonna do, okay? They have to make a guess, and hopefully they make the right one. That's what they're hoping for, okay? So that's what I want when you guys spark. So think of that, okay? So make sure you practice different kind of footwork and kicking with both legs to go with that footwork. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get a quick water break, come back, and we'll go through our huddle discussion with our quote, all right? Go. All right, so while uh, everyone's getting the water break, let me give an opportunity for everyone to, or someone, to write down who, what, or um, who says the quote that I shared on on a Monday. You can either name what the actor's name is, or you could name what his superhero role is. Go ahead and do it while everyone else is getting water break. Those are getting water break, you got 10 seconds. Oh, good job, Arel. First one, Chris Evans. All right. Who wants to put what superhero he played? All right, 10 seconds up. All right, so everyone, you're there. Go ahead and have a seat. Type 110 at home if you're at home. Uh, if you're standing, go to Type 110 if you'd like. All right, guys? Good job. Okay, so uh, let me give you guys a background on the source of this quote. Okay, so. Actors and actresses, obviously, you know, they take on different projects, okay? Um, the good actors and actresses, they want to have variety. They want to be, um, they want to have uh, different roles. They could do drama, action, comedy, okay? That usually defines a good actor when they're very uh, flexible with different kind of genres or different types of movies, okay? Um, Chris Evans, obviously, you guys know he plays Captain America in the Marvel movies, okay, or played Captain America and the Marvel movies. Now, you kids know the Marvel movies. There's obviously more than one, okay? There's always sequels, okay? There's sequels after sequel after sequel, sometimes with the same character, okay? Um, even that character, they could even branch out to another character's movie. So it's a commitment. It's a long-term commitment, okay? So Chris Evans, when he was asked to play Captain America, you know, he was scared to do it, okay? He was very uh, hesitant, okay? Reason being is because if you guys look at the first Captain America movie all the way to the last movie that he played in Avengers, that was what, about 10 years, 11 years? So that's 10, 11 years of a commitment. That's a long time, okay? So um, some of you guys were still toddlers when Captain, the first Captain America movie came out. Now you guys are in your preteens or teenager years, right? So that's a long time, okay? And in that long time, that's a long time commitment. And you kind of get sucked into that role where it makes it difficult to branch out to another type of movie because you're scheduled for these movies that you have to make. So that's very scary, right, for an actor. Um, and this is what he said in response to that situation. He said, it was that it was so scary. The fact that I was so scared of it, it just kind of felt like that's exactly what I should be doing. Anything you're scared of, you should push yourself to do it, okay? One more time. It was that I was so scary. The fact that I was so scared of it, it just kind of felt like that's exactly what you should be doing. Anything you're scared of, you should push yourself to do it. That's what Chris Evans said. And that's how he became Captain America, okay? So Chris Evans, he literally <laughs> took what he was scared of, overcame it, 
and actually took on the challenge and he literally became a superhero out of it. How cool is that, right? That's pretty cool, right? To become a superhero. He actually did that. So that's what you guys want to have in the mentality, okay? Whatever you're scared of, if you're feeling nervous to doing something, you feel anxiety about doing something, you know what? You face it and do it, okay? But remember, you want to do it smart, okay? Do it safely. I say that because, for example, I'm scared of heights, okay? When I reach a certain height, okay, um, I get a little bit wheezy, okay? But that doesn't mean I'm going to go on top of a 10-foot building and jump off to face my fear, okay? So I'm not going to conquer my fear doing it that way, okay? I'm going to be smart about it, meaning I'm probably going to go on a roller coaster to overcome it, or I'm going to go bungee jumping to overcome it. I'm going to do something safe to overcome that fear, okay? Um, another thing is less dramatic is something that a lot of people are afraid of, okay? Some, some kids, you know, if you guys can conquer this and get used to this and be comfortable with this at a young age, it's going to help you so much when you reach high school and college and when you go to interviews, career, when you go to interviews for your career, your job, and that's public speaking, okay? So uh, that's one of the fears that kids have is public speaking, okay? But you know what? You have a project and you have to present it at a certain time. Guess what? If you don't present it, what happens? You probably get a bad grade, right? You don't want that. So what do you have to do? You have to face your fear. You have to face that anxiety. And even though you're scared to get up in front of that class, in front of your 20, 30 classmates, you get up from your desk, you go in front of the class, and you present your project. You present your presentation, Okay, so that's one way of doing what you're scared of. Okay, last example. How about when we take it back to the dojo, to the martial arts school? When you guys are testing, you know, we have all the testers lined up at the edge of the mat. And then let's see, you come up in the middle of the mat with three or four people. Sometimes you're by yourself and you got to perform the curriculum, right? Now that's, that could be nervous when you have all your classmates watching you and you have your parents watching you, and, oh, man, that's nervous. You don't, you don't want to mess up, right? But if you want your next bell, what do you have to do? You got to go up there, and you have to perform, right? Same thing when you're breaking your boards that you're testing. You know, that board, it comes from a tree, right? And I'm supposed to put my hand and my foot through it? <laughs> Guess what? You face your fear, and even though it might take you one time, which is awesome, even though it may take you two, three, or four times, you know, that's also awesome as long as you break it. And what happens after you break that board? That feeling of fear, that feeling of that, or that thing that was so scary, after you overcame it, what's replaced with it? It's replaced with joy, right? And your parents are proud of you. The instructors are proud of you that you were able to go up there, do your curriculum, that you were able to go up there, break your board, and get your belt, all right? So there's a lot of good things that can come out of overcoming your fear. And if you just stay in fear and not face it or overcome it, guess what? You stay at that spot. You don't grow. Okay. So if you feel like, you know, get to, if you want to speak to somebody, if you want to do something that you might be scared of, you know, go out there and do it, but be safe about it. And also remember that you don't have to do it alone. Okay. Mom and dad are there to help you. You know, you have your teachers at school to help you. You have your instructors at the martial arts school to help you. Maybe some, a few friends that you can trust that can help you. So don't think that you have to overcome what you're scared of by yourself, okay? Don't get me wrong. You can. You can do it by yourself. It's possible. But it's also nice to have a little bit of help, right? It's a little bit nice to have a little cheering section to back you up, okay? So whether you're doing it by yourself or whether you have someone helping you or some people helping you, you know what? Go after what you're scared of, all right? And... Do what Chris Evans did. You know what? He was scared to become Captain America. He was scared to take on that role. He went for it, and he became a superhero about it. All right? So that's a pretty good lesson to learn. All right, guys? And the younger you learn it, opens a lot of doors for you guys in the future. All right? So it's right there. If you guys want to actually see the interview, you could actually YouTube it and just type in Captain America, Chris Evans interview, and it should be one of those short videos on there. All right, guys? All right, so let's go and stand up. All right.
Now, to close it out, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and work on our balance, okay? So with our balance, um, let's go ahead and do the roundhouse kick. So we're just going to face the front, kick off to the side, okay? So first, let's hold up our roundhouse kick to our bent knee first, okay? It says we don't want to have our balance when we do this, right? When we do that, you want to make sure that you have that balance that you're not tipping over, okay? Because when you bend your knee, remember, there's a, there are times where your opponent's going to come after you. So when they come after you and they move you back, you want to still be able to have that balance when you still have your leg up, okay? So we're going to pick up our right leg first, okay? When you pick up your right leg, I want you guys to grab your ankle, okay, to help you out a little bit. And you're going to hold it for five seconds, okay? Ready? And hold. One, two, three, four, five. And relax. All right. Now the goal is... I want to hold it up, but be still, like a statue, okay? I don't want to be doing this, okay? I want to try to get as still as I can, okay? Now let's try the left leg. Ready, hold, and five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, good, and relax. All right, now let's see how many roundhouse kicks we could do, okay? Let's start easy, okay? Let's start with two, okay? So go ahead and bring your leg up, and we're gonna do two, one, two, without putting our leg down, then you relax. Now, I want, us, I want you guys to do controlled roundhouse kicks, okay? So mom and dad, you guys are gonna be my eyes for me, okay? So I can't see the kids, so I'm gonna use you guys, mom and dad, for this favor, okay? Let your kids know when they're kicking and they're going like this, okay? Or they're kicking and they're trying to fit that last one in, before they fall over, try to make sure that they stay in that same area, all right? So let's go ahead and put that leg up, and two kicks, go. One, two, leg down. Good job, all right, notice how I'm in the same area? That's what I want, okay? Don't look like a tree that's getting chopped down when you're tipping over, all right, guys? All right, so let's go three now. Oh, one more thing, when I kick, the more kicks I add before putting my leg down, there's a tendency where I can have noodle legs. I don't want noodle legs, meaning I don't wanna do this. Right, I want to make sure I have a good recoil. Remember, recoil is a bend after you kick. So after I kick, I want to bend, bend, bend. Okay, so have a good recoil on your kick. It helps you with your snap and your power and prevents noodle legs. Okay, now let's do three roundhouse kicks. Ready? Right leg, go. One, two, three, and down. Good. Let's do four. Ready and go. One, two, three. Four. All right, good job. All right, so we stopped at four on Monday. Today, let's go for five, okay? Now with this one, mom and dad, um, if your child is still having a little bit of trouble, you know what, go ahead and stand. If they're kicking with their right leg, you're gonna stand on their left, all right? And kids, what you're gonna do is, you're not gonna hold on mom and dad, okay? What you're gonna do is they're gonna be nearby. So while you're kicking, if you feel yourself falling, tipping over, then you're gonna hold on to them to regain your balance, and then let go and finish your kicks. All right, so let's do five. Okay, ready? If mom and dad aren't available, maybe they're doing something like cooking or something and you guys are responsible enough to do the videos on your own, good job. Use a chair, okay, or the couch, okay, or brother or sister, okay? Ready? Five kicks. Right now, let's keep with the right leg without putting it down. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, Five, and relax. All right, good job. Now, what do we want to do if we're practicing our kicks? We want to make sure we practice with both legs, okay? We always want to practice with both legs. What happens if I practice only my right leg? And if I'm sparring, it gets hurt. I'm going to have to use my left leg, so I better make sure my left leg knows how to kick too, okay? All right, so let's do two first, okay? Ready? Leg up, two roundhouse kicks, go. One, two. Good. Now we're gonna do three. Ready? And let go. Go. One, two, three. Left down. All right, let's take it up another level. Four, okay? Let mom and dad know if they want, if you want them to be next to you, go ahead and let them know, okay? So mom and dad, we're keeping with the left leg. If your child needs you, you're gonna stand on the right side. Okay, ready? And four kicks now. Ready? Go. One. 
two, three, four. Good. All right, last one. Let's do five. Ready? And five without putting your leg down. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. All right, so hopefully you guys are able to do that, okay? And hopefully I didn't have any uh, trees being chopped down when you guys are leaning over to one side. All right, if I did, hey, you know what? It's okay. The more you practice your balance, just like anything else, the better you get at your balance, okay? So if you know how to ride a bike, if you know how to skateboard, if you know how to rollerblade, you know, those things require balance, right? When you're first learning, I'm sure you were guys, you guys were uh, falling on the ground and getting back up a lot of times, right? Now, after a while, the more you do it, now you guys could rollerblade, now you guys could skateboard and bike without falling down. Same thing with our kicks, okay? The more you practice, the more kicks you can do without falling down. And that's really good, okay? That's an awesome skill to have. It's good to have when you're sparring, you know? Because when you have your leg up, right? That's like your stop sign for your opponent, right? Because when they come in, boom! And you still have it up, now they're trying to move around, you can still follow them with your leg. And then they come in again, boom! Right? So that helps in your sparring. Hey, it also helps out in demos, right? When we're doing those drills, like, bah, 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 right? It looks pretty cool when you can do multiple kicks in the air, all right? So it looks also cool in demos, all right? So that can help you in both aspects, in performances and in fighting, okay? But you need to have that balance, okay? Have that balance to go with that good kick, okay? It doesn't matter if you have a good, powerful kick, um, if you can't keep your leg up doing it, then you can't, it takes away the power. All right, you have to have that balance to make sure you keep that speed and power to go with that kick. All right, guys? All right, so that's it for our class. All right, guys, that was week one. So quick announcements, mom and dad, um, please keep an eye on your voicemails. Again, um, staff has divided the belt levels of who we're calling. Um, so we're doing that throughout the week. You know, we're giving you guys updates on what's going on with the school, reopening, okay? So right now we're at two days a week, okay? For those of you who are comfortable, um, we're doing two days a week and scheduling guys at certain times, okay? Um, those of you who are comfortable, remember, um, we are still following the guidelines, okay? Uh, Sherwood Mall, they're, they're constantly spraying. Um, they posted a video earlier today. They're constantly, they're constantly spraying the whole mall. Um, inside our dojo, the martial arts school, we are also uh, having it cleaned, okay? Uh, let's have the hand sanitizer there. Also, um, those of you guys do get scheduled, um, we do also, excuse me, wanna keep you guys safe, okay? So we have face masks for ourselves. We also have face shields coming in. And we have our social distancing. So we have separated the dots on the mats. Uh, so we have at least six feet or more apart between each student when they come in for classes, okay? So um, we are slowly reopening, okay? We're officially open. Um, so we are slowly getting back to normal, okay? But also at the same time following the same guidelines. So uh, it's to keep us safe, to keep your children safe, and also to keep you mom and dad safe, all right? So safety is a key for us, but at the same time, we still want to provide that training for you guys so your kids um, can stay in shape and still continue to learn how to defend themselves. All right? All right, kids, let's go ahead and bow out. Hands behind our back. Face the front, ready, chip. Sabun ke kinyin. Se kam samida. Put our hands on our heart. We're going to set the tenets of Taekwondo. Ready, courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self control, and spirit. How do we lead? By example, what's our goal? Black belt excellence. And when do we quit? Never. Good job. Face this way, chip. Southern kick, can you? All right, guys. Hopefully, everyone's being safe out there. Hopefully, you guys are all healthy out there also. Um, we're getting closer, all right? We're almost at that finish line. Thank you guys for jumping in. Those of you who have been watching live and those of you who have been watching the YouTube channels, um, you know what? You guys are staying in shape, all right? And we have something special for you guys when we come back. When you guys come back, we have something special for you guys to offer. So we look forward to that. And I also look forward to seeing you guys in person. 
All right. Don't get me wrong. I love teaching you guys online. Um, but once everything at home for me gets situated, um, I'm looking forward to seeing the kids and teaching you guys face to face again. All right. With social distancing. All right, guys. Take care. And I'll see you guys live Monday again. All right. Bye-bye.